What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite features of Drum Machine in Cubase 14. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the like button, and share this video to everybody you know. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right in. So I'm going to go ahead and add the drum machine right now. So one of the way you can add drum machine is by going to this plus button and add the drum machine. You can also go to the lower zone right here and click on the uh, make sure you're in the drum machine tab. If you're on another tab, you won't have this option. So go to the drum machine and just click on add drum track and let's just name them drums okay now I've got this really awesome looking drum machine okay so we have the drum machine now I'm gonna go ahead and add some drums real quick okay let's add this kick here and the snare another snare okay a hi-hat okay so I'm gonna show you guys one feature that I like in drum machine and that is the group button here so if you go to this group button you can see that you have all this kit here all right and let's start from the left so now when you go and click on this pad you're gonna see that it's being selected here on, in the bottom so that is a good thing so I like to keep my projects organized so I always do my best to name all the pads, all the tracks properly, right? So obviously you can actually right click here and go to rename pad and then enter your name here. But once I rename it here, you can see that it's re being renamed here as well. But I like to do it here instead of going to the pad. So you can just so you can just double click here and enter the name. Okay, so snare, snare two. You can obviously copy and paste as well. Okay. Now the next one is the hi-hat, just double click, hi-hat, okay? So why rename the pad is important, let me show you guys. I'm going to go to the instrument here. Okay, let's say this hi-hat, I want to automate the padding, okay? I'm going to right click and go to pattern editor assigned to step automation, right? I'm going to click on this and I'm going to double click and open the, pan, uh, the pattern editor, excuse me. And now you can see that the panning is already here. When I hover my mouse, I can see this is the hi-hats pan, right? If let's say I didn't name any of the pad here. Okay, let me just add this one real quick, okay? If I go to this pad and then right click, go to uh, pattern editor, set up the automation and double click on this. When I hover my mouse, it's going to show me the samples name, right? I don't want that. I want I want to be able to see the parameters that I am automating with this pattern editor, right? So now, I don't know what is this actually, okay, although it's BMHH, most probably it's a hi-hat, but I prefer having a hi-hat name in this pattern editor, right? So let's go back to drum machine, I'm going to go to group again, so that's one of the best thing I like, which I can name the sample or the pad right here in the group editor, alright? Okay? And I can see my keys here. So C1 is going to the kick, C sharp 1 is the snare, and so on. Alright, so that's really cool. Another cool thing I can do is let's say if I have a hi hat which I want to choke, you know, I can do it right in this group editor. What you're gonna have to do is let's say I want to choke both of these hi hat, I can select the exclusive here and bring it up to 1. So both of these. Is currently now will choke each other so it will not overlap between these both hi-hats right so that is really helpful especially when I have a open hat or even when I'm actually doing a vocal chart right so let me just show you real quick Girl, song I'll put it on repeat okay let's say I want to use this sample now I'm gonna go to the Girl. here okay I'm gonna just cut it like so. Tell me your favorite song, I'll put it on rooms and rooms and rooms and rainy weather. Rooms and rainy weather. Okay, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna use this here. And I want them to chop. Okay, so now. Rooms and rainy weather. Rooms and rainy weather. Rooms and rainy weather. Okay, you see that yeah. it's overlapping now, right? So I don't want that. So I'm going to go and 
change it, change the exclusivity to let's say to two. <laughs> know what I mean? So this is really useful. I can do it right in the group editor. Okay. Another cool thing I like is that I can actually adjust the level right here. Uh, of course, I can also go to the instrument and adjust it here, right? But I can also do it in the uh, group editor. So, so it's really cool because I don't have to keep going to a different window or tab every time I want to do it. I can pan the samples as well. So from here, let's say I want to have kick the snare to be on the left and the snare to be on the right. Okay, now, so now when I play them, You know, I can do it pretty much in this window instead of having to go to the other window. Delay and reverb option is also in the group editor, which is cool. Let's say I've enabled the delay and reverb, it's going to be showing me here as well. So I can just increase or decrease the send value here and the reverb as well. Right, like so. So it's really cool that I can do all of this here. One of the best thing ever is I have the option to send out the audio directly from here main out no actually kick sh should be okay so if i go to kick it should be you know so a kick should be master snare second third i had fourth and so on i can actually create the uh, output directly from this group window now when i click on this you can see that it's already named for me right base on the name that I paste it here. Okay, if I add another one here, you can see this is why renaming the track is very important, guys. Okay, let's enable this again. Okay, so now you can see that each of these pads is now being routed to its own output channel. And I can do all this within this window. I don't have to manually go here, right click on it and go to assign output and so on, right? I don't have to do it anywhere else. I can do it within this window. So it makes my workflow faster and, um, and you guys should definitely check this out. All right. So that's it for today, guys. If you guys find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button and share this video to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.